I gotta go. I kind of gave up on the other screen because I don't have look up sure about that. But, uh, <coughs> this is actually better than I thought it would be. Oh, so. well, you're ready for two. Facebook. I just gotta keep going. Well, we need to get. I got it.
me, Mr. Beard, or if you wish, uh, Mr. Betty or Mr. Masters. Okay? But you can only do that if there's not another witness present. Okay. So I would ask you all to excuse yourselves for right now, and we will try to get you in and out as quickly as possible.
you recognize these folks? Judge State's projecting on the relevance of these photos. Okay, well, I don't know what they are, and I haven't heard a predicate yet, so it's A and E. A and E. First question is, do you recognize them? I don't think I've seen these before. Okay. Do you recognize the person's picture? Yeah, that's right. Okay. <clears throat> so you don't recognize these as being uh, Facebook photos of Mr. Uh, the court? Uh, they could be, but I, I don't believe I've seen them. Okay, fair enough. I think I would have remembered the gun if I'd seen them. Okay, had you seen the gun before? Uh huh. Okay. Let's talk about when did you first meet William Billy Woodward? When we moved in over there, that was in June, I think. Of what year? 2012. Okay. And you knew him continuously through that period of time? Yes. And uh, from June of 2012 uh, through, oh, let's say three months before this incident, what was your relationship with Mr. Wood? No, we were close friends. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Woodward, on various occasions, loaned you money for your family, is that correct? Yeah, we've done things for each other, yeah. Okay. Paid your rent? Uh, one time. Okay. Bought clothes for your kids? Bought some shoes for them. Okay. Now, there came a point in time uh, when you, Mr. Hembry, Mr. Pickcor, your wife, and Miss Cass had some problems. <coughs> The Woodward family. You recall that? Yeah, well, it was a bunch of occasions. You know. Okay. Well, what was the uh, the genesis or the beginning of this <coughs> problem between your group of friends and the Woodward family in your mind? That was when he came over and said that Gary's daughter had took some things off his front porch. Okay. Now, in your police interview, you talk about some sort of duct tape situation. You remember that? That's what I heard it was, with a five-gallon bucket of duct tape. Okay. So, I just want to make sure we're talking about the same thing. Uh, the incident regarding <coughs> Mr. Woodward's concerns about what was taken off of his porch were presents belonging to his daughter. Isn't that true? That, that's today's the first time I've heard about presents. Uh, so it was your belief that his daughter had a five gallon bucket of duct tape and that was the problem? I didn't know it was his daughter's stuff took and I thought it was Billy said he had some stuff missing off it. And I had understood it to be duct tape. Mm -hmm. A bunch of duct tape from the pig pen or something that he, where he had the hog net. And what about uh, his concerns about this duct tape caused you concern? It didn't. But it didn't. It didn't. It the, bottom, the only thing it was it was the way he was accusing Gary's daughter is what got Gary that upset. Mm -hmm. Well, what got you so upset? It, because he was blaming and he was blaming the kids and he was getting upset. He was. He was yelling and screaming right there and, and which he had never done that before. Okay, so this is an isolated <coughs> thing where he's upset. He, the conversation is actually between him and somebody else and him and somebody else, about him and somebody else's kids, right? Yeah. Okay. And yet that infuriated you to the point that that was the end of your all's relationship. Is that correct? But no, not really. It was it, well. It deteriorated, and from that on, it started from that day, and then it was every day <coughs> after that. And, okay, let's just talk about you for the moment. Isn't it true that virtually on an everyday basis, you objectively? 
It is waiting, but I'm going to give them some latitude. Thank you. On an everyday basis, from that point on, you personally engaged in uh, directing obscenities toward Mr. Woodward and his family. No, not every day. No. Not every day. No, not every, only when he he would he would start it too. You know, he would he would walk his dog by the house and he and he would start it right here in the house. He'd pull up a chair and sit in the driveway across the street from us and flip the bird. And then he, he would start it just as much as anybody else. Mm -hmm. Now, were you present on an occasion where there were some suggestions directed at Mr. Woodward, his wife, and his 12-year-old daughter was that Somebody in your group of friends, the Hembrays, the Picacores, your wife, yourself, or Miss Cass, uh, would sodomize her. Yes, I remember when that was said. And <coughs> who was it that said that? I'm not sure. I think it was Kim that said it first, and then Carrie just kind of went with it. Okay. That well, let's see. Mr. Mayor, thank you for your assistance. I want you to listen to this because I'm going to ask you, if you can, to identify who's saying what in this particular segment. Judge, the state uh, objects to any statements that were made by other than victims. Ms. Cass and Ms. Blake were not victims in this case. <coughs> Therefore, statements they may have no relevance. They have relevance to this matter because it uh, affects the state of mind of Mr. Woodward. This is, Yeah, yeah, 
and like we're gonna do with one game of alcohol. I don't know what you see right there. I didn't see any alcohol in there. Do you recognize that voice? No. Fair enough. No, I don't want to do that.
So can't recall who any of these people are out on the I street? I can't no voice without an ad. Yeah. But do you recognize them? Or even does this jog your memory since you were there that I speak. Carrie was in the road, Kim was in the road. I think Roger was out there. Billy and William were out there. William who? What's his last name? The one that lived up the road. I don't forgot his last name. Sorry, can't answer questions. You don't recall his name. No, I don't I don't remember his last name. If I said William Smith, would that refresh your recollection? Uh it might be it, yeah. Alright, fair enough. We'll clear it up later. Okay. Anybody else out on the road? Where are you all of a sudden? I was stuck in the boat and then when it started <coughs> when they yelled that I've seen, that's when I yelled at Ben to shut up. Who is that you're yelling at? Yeah, Kim and Carrie. So you're playing the peacemaker? Well, I told them to shut up and that went over the line there. Okay. And then that's when I got out of the boat to get them up in the yard. All right.
the white shirt? I don't know who that is. Ultimately, there's got to be some kind of predicate for Mr. Woodward or these things. But. Well, the 
that's already been laid for this. We already have testimony. Mr. Woodward is right out there. He's at the school. He's <coughs> testified yet. Exactly. He just testified to that. He testified, Mr. Woodward, Mr. S well, he said, uh, William didn't know Mr. Smith. That doesn't mean Mr. Woodward heard any of this. I mean, ultimately, he's going to have to say something about hearing it before well, it's even going to be relevant. I have every confidence that you are going to hear that testimony. And all I was doing was overruling his objection. Okay. The subject to a showing that Mr. Woodward actually heard these remarks. Thank you. I'm sorry.
Well, Mr. Berry is queuing these up. I want to show you other things that I had more. Directed at the Woodwards, and it was not. It was about the wrestling. 
that was, we was out there for a good over an hour wrestling with all the kids doing different teams and tag team wrestling and playing with the youngins out there. Were you burning anything? They had the grill going. Anything other than the grill? Nothing other than the grill. That I recall. Yeah. Were you calling some of the kids a faggot? Yeah. You were calling the kids? Well, they was, we was picking out of the wrestling and we throw one of them on the back and come on, get him, little faggot, get him, get him. And then that's what we were, we was all wrestling there doing different teams, trying to jump and get Roger down. Okay. Any of those kids named Bill? Huh? Any of those kids named Bill? Mm, don't think so. Okay. Any of those kids, a faggot ass army reject bitch? I, I know I didn't say that. I don't recall that being said, but I'm pretty sure you might have heard it there with them. Okay, my question was, were that, those kind of comments being directed toward the children there? Not that I know of. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get you to identify some of the voices in this. Do 
that thing? How many guns have you brought? Good. I object. That's not what I heard at all. Well, maybe it's what the court heard. Whose voice is it? I think that was, I can't remember if it was Jessica or Kim, but they was, uh, they was fixing to make up a, like a little drum set the kids were. That is how many drums have y'all got? I think that's what she said, because they was fixing to set up a bunch of pots and pans and and something the kids was gonna make a homemade drum set back right there. Okay, so it's your recollection what was said is how many drums have you all got? Yeah. Okay.
He's in his house right now, isn't he? Yeah, on this particular one here. Well, this is the night that the shooting happened, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So what is your purpose in starting things back up again by yelling out at the Woodwards, I'm still right here? What was your intention, sir? It wasn't no intention. I just yelled it out because I wanted to, all right? So you didn't want to start this all up again or fire things up a little bit or get anybody started again by yelling, I'm still right here. And watch out, they might run over you. Right? I said it. I mean, I can't change what I did. I said it. But you didn't have any reason to say it. Is that right? Probably did. Just for the heck of it. Just from being pissed off for a month and a half, I reckon. <clears throat> Can we be fair that you expected Billy to react to that? That's why you yelled it, wasn't it? Well, yeah, I reckon. You wanted to get him pissed off that night, right? Probably did. So you're just starting the, the fun going that night. That was your intention, is that right? I just said it to be saying it. All right.
We're about 30 seconds away from the next action, so this will be a good place for a break. All right, because we're going to need to take our new break. Um, <coughs> lost. Mr. Blake, um, you may step down. We'll start back up again at 115. Yeah. And remember the rule about sequestration of witnesses I told you about this morning? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go get something and come back. Oh, home. yeah, you bet. You're free to leave the building. Just be back here.